Okay, so we're going to make a quick video today on how to add a discount to your site, how to encourage customers to sign up, and how to connect all those things so that when somebody signs up for your newsletter, your email list, they are getting a code uh, discount on their first order. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to use is a couple apps and I don't have any downloaded right now because this is just a development store. So what I'm going to do I just went to the recommended apps. I need Shopify email. I need forms. I don't see what I need here, so I'm going to go to the App Store, and I need Flow. And again, each of these are by Shopify, okay? So if you click on it, and you're not sure, is that the one that she clicked? Uh, if you click on it, this one says it in the name, but it'll tell you the developer, okay? And it's free. We love that. All right, so we're going to install that as well. All right, so now in our apps, we're going to go to forms. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new one. We're going to click a pop up and we're going to call it uh, welcome email series. Create. Okay, so this is the preview of the pop up that you're making. Okay, and I want an overlay and the teaser section. So what's a teaser? So if I come to the site, let me show you the preview again. If I come to the site and I just exit out of here, then the teaser is going to pop up wherever I want it, right? Just a smaller. So if I click on the teaser, then it shows me the full, the full pop up. Okay, so that's what I want. So I've got the teaser. Uh, it's going to pop up in the bottom left and it's going to say 15% off. Let's, you know what? Let's get crazy. Let's do 20% off. Okay. The title of our pop-up. How about um, join our mailing list? Get... 20% off Oops. first order. Wow, what a deal. Okay, and these are the fields that I want, right? So if it was more of a customer, uh, you, if you've got a B2B company, right, and you want a lot of information, but with each of these, um, with each of these fields, the more information that you require, the less likely that somebody's going to complete it all. So Let's just get the email and cruise on from there. Do we want to change? Uh, we could say join now. You could say get your discount, get my discount. Let's do that. Doesn't that sound fun? Get my discount. Okay. Disclaimer. Let's keep that. Okay. So after somebody submits their email, where do we want to take them? What should they see? Do we want to give them a message? Do we want to redirect them to another page? I'm just going to say, let's just show them a message. Um, what discount do we want to attach it to? Well, let's select one. And these are all old and those are only 15% and we just made a 20% off. So let's, okay, so I said make a discount and that takes us to the discounts on the left-hand side. For us, we're going to create a new one. We are going to do an order discount. So we're going to call that um, Welcome 20. They're going to get a 20% discount. You could do dollars off too if you wanted to. Uh, minimum purchase requirements, no minimum. We want all customers to be able to get it, but we're just going to limit it. 
So you can only use it one, one email, one customer, one discount. Um, now, what discounts can it be combined with? I'm just going to do shipping discounts. And then it starts immediately. So we're going to save that. And then it'll show us kind of the overview. And of course, we can change this whenever. All right, great. OK, so now we're going to go back into our Forms tab. We're going to save this real quick because we're going to have to refresh because we just made that discount. So just refreshing. Okay, now let's see if when we scroll down to the discount. There we go. There we go. Welcome 20 is there. Okay, great. So that connects it. So when somebody signs up, they're going to get the uh, code right away. Okay, so it's going to say here's your discount. 20% off entire order, one use per customer. Great, great, great. Do you want to change the color? Maybe. Let's give them a little key lime pie. All right. Now, one of the cool things about Shopify, let me show you. If you make it too dark, it gives you this little warning. Your colors don't have enough contrast. It may be difficult to read. How nice. So then we lighten it back up and we're back to regular. If we wanted to change the font, we could. Let's just pick a new fun one. Arimo looks sharp. Okay, image. No, we don't need to put an image if you want to. You could. Um, devices. Okay, so. If it's showing on your desktop, do you want it to show on every page? I'm going to say yes. But on mobile, I don't want it to show on every page because that can get really crowded real quick. So on mobile, let's just do specific pages. And I just want it to be on the home page and products and cart. Just those three. Um, do we want it to show on the first page that they see? Sure. And after waiting, let's just give it a couple seconds. So it's going to pop up after three seconds. OK. Do we want to add any tags? No. It's going to show, um, yeah, there is a default tag. So I don't, I don't need to add any more right now. Do I want to receive an email every time somebody signs up for this? No, I don't need a whole email. Um, now, automations and workflows. Do we want to connect it to an email automation? Yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's go into manage. And that should take us into marketing automations. Okay, so we're on the left hand side here. So you can see, right, most of this is dealing with um, emails. So let's go see if there's a template that we want to use. Now we can definitely create a custom one, but let's see if there's any that we can use here. So we've got a welcome new subscribers with a discount code or discount series. That seems that seems like what we want. All right, let's click that one. OK. So it gives us a little preview what's included about this template. Welcome, the, welcome them to your store with a discount. Invite them to follow your social media channels. Highlight discount reminder if no order has been placed. OK, so this is a big, long series. And what apps do we need? Email and flow. We've already got them. Great. If we didn't have them, it would say don't download. So you could click those. Uh, let's go ahead and use this template. Let's get started. Okay. All right. So, um, right. This is flows and this is just showing you, this is giving you like, okay, when this happens, we do this. Okay. So start when customers subscribe to email marketing. Okay. So they subscribed. Let's see if there's any details on that. Nope. Okay. That's the trigger. Um, now we're going to, here's the, the draft email, the first one. We're so happy you're here. Enjoy this discount on your first purchase. OK, and then it shows some of our products that we've just kind of again, this is a development store, so there's it's not it's not real products. <laughs> OK, but here's where we can edit the email. So. To customer subscribed email marketing subject. 
enjoy an exclusive 20% discount. All right. So I'm just like in the theme editor, if you click on a section, it pulls up kind of the details on, on the side. So we're going to select the discount that's connected to it. Welcome 20. All right. And then it shows, right? It just, and again, it auto populates this, right? Like I didn't, I didn't put any of this together. It automatically does it. Now we can change stuff. We can delete stuff. Uh, let's see. You know, do you want to make two columns? There you go. Okay. That looks great. I love that. Um, okay. Now, because this is a development store, I can't make this set to active. Okay. Now you can set yours to active. I can't because it wants me to upgrade my plan. All right. But you're setting up that email. Great. Set it to active. Okay. So let's get back out of here. We're going to leave. And okay, then the next step, right? You're going to wait 24 hours and then it's going to send another marketing email. Now, at this point, you could delete, you could delete the rest of them, right? You could say, I don't want to send any more emails. Just send them one. We can do that. Um, but let's just look at them and see what we want to keep, what we want to delete. Okay, so this is the second email, which is called Keep Those Fingers Scrolling. It says join the conversation. Follow us on socials, right? Okay, and let's go to edit this. Let's be social. We can keep all that stuff. And let's just make sure, you know, put in your, put in your links, uh, Instagram.com. Right. Um, so just make sure your, your links are active and I would put a link in the photo as well. Okay. I would do that, you know, on anything that's clickable. Um, and then you can send a test to yourself. Click on everything. Look how it looks on mobile. Look how it looks on desktop. And then you would set it to active. And you can see that here too. Um, you can see the mobile and the desktop. So this is the mobile view. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to exit. Okay. So it's going to wait for another 24 hours after they get that. And then it's going to get another email. So let's see what this one is. There's more in store for you. Let's go to edit, get the details, see if there's any changes. Okay, it's just showing like bestsellers. Okay. Let's exit that. It's going to wait two more days. And at that point, if a customer has not ordered then it's going to resend the discount and let's look at that email yep and then it's got the discount and let's just make sure that the discount again is connected right and then because these products are connected if somebody clicks on it they're gonna right they're gonna get taken to the product okay all right, looks good, looks good. Okay. Yeah, so at this point, make sure all the emails that you want to go out are set to active. And then we're going to exit it. All right. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is turn on the workflow. So that that is going to say when somebody does this everything else then follows everything else okay so i'm going to turn that on it's not going to let me yeah it's giving me the errors again developer store um okay and that's that now so now we've got a discount set up we've got a pop-up set up we've got an email flow set up what else do we have to do we have to make sure that the pop-up is 
available on our theme. So let's go into our theme and make sure that that is on as well. Okay, so left hand side, we're going to go under sales channel, we're going to go to online store. We're going to go to the current theme. If forms is off, you're going to turn it on. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see if we get the pop up. What do you see? Okay. So it popped up once and then it's just showing up as the uh, teaser. Okay. So that is that. All right. So there you go. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, things that are nice about it. Everything's within Shopify. You're not getting another app. You're not doing another set of permissions. You're not doing any, you know, paid for stuff. As long as you've got the Shopify subscription, you're good to go. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me know any questions, but otherwise enjoy. <laughs>